So I'm going to move on to the second part. Is, is everyone good on that? Yay! All right. And this part's going to be fun because I actually did bring some kava. Um, and I'll hand these out. These are um, kava is a wonderful, wonderful herb. It's known as kava kava or kava. And it's actually a really, really awesome herb to help reduce stress, anxiety, um, any sort of restlessness. There's different types of kava that can relax your body so that you can sleep like you just came out of a massage or some that just relaxes your mind. And what happens with kava is people relax and they can talk even if it's a subject that they've never agreed on. Peacefully. Now here's the thing, kava kava got a bad rap uh, eons ago, I'm not sure how many years ago, because one of the governing agencies says, this damages the liver, people die from using kava because their liver is damaged. Do you know in the entire history of kava, there's only been four reported cases of problems with the liver? Who knows what those other people were doing to their body you know, you would have to probably drink a gallon plus of kava a day. You know, it's kind of like telling the lab rat, you have to have a quart of kava every day. Oh, look, there's damage. Look at that lab rat. You know, if you do something in excess like that, that's way out of proportion, will there be some stuff come up? Yes. Even the people who write books about kava because of the governing agency say take it every day for three months and then take a two-week break. This is really good for people with type A personalities. Uh, I've had clients who are going through some horrible divorces use this to get them through the divorce. And I like kava and I only drink it once every couple weeks, you know, so it's like no big deal. There's not going to be any damage. And the only reason I mention that is because you will 100% find support for saying it does that, even though there's a thousand times more support giving you more of the truth. Um, the reason this is awesome is because, first of all, I don't drink, I don't take medications. Uh, if I go to friends or family functions, this is what I take. I take kava shooters for everybody. Here, try this, have a shot. Oh, yes, ringers off. I said it, but you weren't here yet, that's okay. Um, and, um, and I usually have everybody try it. And even if they take the tiniest sip, because kava has a very earthy, dirt-like taste, um, they'll go, Oh, I don't like the taste, but in a few minutes, they're going, wow, gosh, I just feel so good. Can I have some more of that? And so then they usually ask for more. Austin is only one of two cities in the United States that has kava bars. There's no alcohol served. They bring kava in, kava root in from Fiji, because Fiji has really the strongest kava. Um, there's a lot of kava out of Hawaii. I actually like the Hawaiian kava better, um, but they're both really, really good. But these kava bars only carry the Fiji um, kava. And I actually have their address on here. The one that's in the Midtown area, I couldn't find their address. They just recently opened, so but you can call them. The one down here on South Congress, they have a happy hour on Mondays. And the one midtown, somewhere around Lamar and 51st, is um, on Wednesday evenings. And um, here, take one and pass them back. Take one. And so there's one on Lamar and 51st. -ish. Yes, yes. And it's in a little strip center. It was next to like a comic book place. The one, oh, yes. okay, I, I, Martin had an idea Close where was. Close to the triangle, before the triangle. 
Yes, it's yeah. somewhere right around yeah. there. And I like the atmosphere of the south one. And at the south one, they actually, um, and this is something I'd like to do with Martin and a couple other couples, They, you can um, arrange a head for a kava ceremony. There's a special ceremony. Uh, so if you want to learn more about it, and when they extract slash juice the kava, it's enough for six to eight people. And uh, I did ask them how much it was to do that, and it's like 99, 95, I think, you know. And when you've got like, you know, three or four couples, that's like no big deal. And so I would say explore that. Birthday party. Yeah, yeah, birthday party would be great. And um, they have a lot of books that you can look at for information on kava. Now this is the first time I made the kava shooters. This was my exact recipe. And I actually used lime in the first one. It was lime, pear, banana. I actually had kava paste. And when I went to make this stuff, I thought I had some kava paste and I didn't. But I had some instant kava and I went and bought some more instant kava. Um, and then I placed an order with Kona Kava Farms in Hawaii to get some more in. Um, and what I would do is then put the shot um, like in little cups and then I would put a dollop, you know, a little drop of extra agave nectar in it and people will just drink it down, shoot it down and that way they're not like tasting a little sip and go, this is too earthy, they shoot it down real fast. It will make your mouth numb just temporarily, but you can immediately feel the effects of, oh yeah, the world's getting a lot better. <laughs> and it's legal, it's not going to damage your body, and, uh, and you can drive. <laughs> Uh, I actually notice when I have kava, my vision gets sharper. And especially at nighttime, I've noticed as I've gotten older, occasionally there's like some night blindness that can go on. And that's just like not an issue at all. Good. Do you need back here? Thank you. Thank you. I'll let her take care of that and then we'll. All righty. You are welcome. Um, so, how many have tried kava? I know you have because I made it for you last night. Well, I've been making it for years, but not in that form. Not in that form, yeah. Because you can buy kava capsules, you can get teas, and it's not the same as getting fresh kava. How have you had it? Um, I did a herb crap for ginger <coughs> web when we were out at on the day in Paris and for an overnight thing. And we had oh, fun! That's really awesome. Oh, Sitting nice! Around the fire, drinking it. Yeah. Oh, how awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, and y'all have not? No. Okay. I actually prefer drinking it when your body doesn't have to break down capsules. And I like having the little tingle in my mouth for a few minutes. Yeah. How about you? You prefer drinking it? Oh, yeah. I love that ceremony and it was nice and warm. And yeah. Very good. I mind the mouth numbing. It does happen. It does happen. And actually, I did not bring any kava that is just plain kava. I brought flavors because if you're taking it to family or holiday functions, they, most people don't want to taste how kava regularly tastes. You're, you're going to be able to taste the kava through what I have. And uh, so before I pull this out, it says down here the two mixes that I actually use today. Um, I have, and it actually makes it nice because the So, the brand that makes the coconut milk, they have a pumpkin spice and they have an eggnog, and they're dairy free and gluten free, and you can use those to even mix up with some, you know, kava powder. Um, and there's a lot of different ones to choose from. I'd say if you're going to order or even purchase, do not purchase ones that already have flavors in it because the, you're going to pay more. And to me, the flavors act as fillers when you can add your own flavors. So you might as well, you know, pay the price and get all kava and then add the flavors you want. So what I have is a pumpkin spice and very yummy. 
I did add additional nutmeg and cinnamon and a little bit of extra, just a little bit of extra agave. And um, with the lemon coconut, I used pureed um, raw coconut with fresh squeezed lemon and this uh, essential uh, lemon with two soaked dates, just to, with some richness and uh, a little bit of uh, vanilla and it's just mega mega good. I did add a little bit of honey, a tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of agave. Sometimes when you mix three different sugars you get a really unique taste and they're both organic and raw and so before I, well maybe after I pour them and you guys have some then we'll ask some questions. Does that sound good? Yes. Yay! So so, um, and in truth, you guys can have both, and um, and this is just a green jar. It's actually not green. So, <laughs> so um, who wants to start with pumpkin spice, or maybe I should just all pour one, and then yes. we'll fill the next one. And who wants to help me with this, so we can. You want to help me? You want to you want to help pass them out? Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. I appreciate your help on that. So, will you hold that for her, and then you can give that to somebody? I think you should probably start with your mama first. Yeah. Go give that to mom. There you go. Thank you so much. Here you go. Yeah. This is the pumpkin one. Okay, there you go. Good job. Yeah, I got good helpers here, honey. Yeah, you're really good. Thank you. Okay. You're going to be on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fast forward, so you'll be moving fast. There you go. Huh? Pardon? Oh, I said she'd love to be on YouTube. She just can't. <laughs> well, if you make sure I have your email address, I'll be sending you the link. I don't know if it'll be today. I always like for my husband to turn them out pretty quick, but sometimes it's a week or two. Because he. Do you want her to have a little? Okay. What do you, I mean, I would say. I think a little's fine for her to taste. Like about that? That's like a quarter, you think? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, and she may or may not like the taste. Oh, you do? Well, it's never mind on that one. Okay. And, oh, okay. Everybody got one? Yeah, and then we'll get one for you. Yeah. Isn't it yummy? Really yummy. Does the cameraman want one? Cameraman, do you desire some? You're good. Okay, there's yours. And let's see if the staff would like any. Do you want to wait till after the talk? Oh, we can do that. We'll do that then. That's a good idea. Let me stick it back on the... A little bit. Isn't it yummy? Okay. And so if you want to have some happy holidays, whether you're by yourself or with family or friends, guess what? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. <laughs> Feliz Navidad, whatever. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. Yum. That's the kava. The, yeah, there's a distinct taste that is 100% kava. Mm. Yeah. The pumpkin spice. I yeah, like the pumpkin really spice. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> when you said it was earthy, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like the taste of the pumpkin. That's why I brought flavored. Yeah. If I brought non flavored, you go, oh, yeah, thanks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all you need to drink that little bit of mound, even. No, I, you can do like four ounces. I did, one party for a friend's birthday party, I took kava, kava shooters. <laughs> and of course, there's people there you don't know. And this person comes up and he says, what do you got here? And I'm like, I've got kava, kava shooters. He says, great, I love it. He says, can I have more than one? I said, sure, take what you want. Well, I, I had to stop him because he, he was going <laughs> slam, slam, slams. He had 10 shots oh, down no. before I could stop him. I'm like, whoa, wow. there's other people here. Yeah. <laughs> You're cut off. Do you have to go get the 
The cops come out? One at a time so we don't get them mixed up, okay? Well, I was thinking these are pretty thin. Oh, okay. We, could. we should use a new one. Okay, that's fine. So, you could do it warm too, right? Yes, you can. Well, you can get Kava Kava tea bags. And, um, and yeah, you can warm it up. Um, you could, I, I would say also with the um, eggnog, you could do it with the eggnog. Yeah, there's a, okay. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I have um, worked to create r raw some sort of like eggnog or pumpkin spice. It hasn't quite worked well. But I'm, I'm super thrilled that the the coconut milk people do that. Yeah. Yeah. They also have chocolate mint as well. Yeah. Flavor. Yeah. I didn't make the chocolate mint. There's one. Let's start with that. Now this is the coconut lemon. This is almost like a lemon drop. Mm hmm. And do we go to like the health food stores and buy? Kava tea or a kava? Uh, like I prefer. Or I have I prefer dry. to get the instant kava or the kava paste. Hey, I good. actually like it a lot better. Here you go, honey. Um, the the tea, it's just, eh. it's not quite as good or as strong, and and uh, the capsules, like I said. I want to minimize how much my stomach is digesting capsules. You know, even if it's vegetarian capsules, I still want to make sure. There you go. Okay. You are such a good helper. Sure are. Isn't that very different? That's why I wanted to have two distinct flavors. Here you go. <laughs> I know, they're very, I was trying to figure out which should I do First, uh, this is the the lemon drop, the lemon coconut drop. Bethy. Okay. There's milk in these. No. Not in either of them. No. No. Vanilla creamer and pumpkin one. Yeah. For me, no. That always means non-dairy, non. Non gluten. You, did you get one for you? Yep. Oh, okay. She preferred the pumpkin. Oh, did did well? Ask your mom. Do you want another little bit of the pumpkin? You do? Okay. Here you go. Hold that, and let's get you some. Here you go. Yeah, I can feel it in my whole mouth and my palate. Yeah, and to me, this is just a way better way. It makes it, for me, yes, I can easily stand up and talk, or when people come into my office, I can easily talk, but sometimes in social functions, because I'm so used to coaching people and helping them, I don't want to go into work mode. And it just allows me to relax and talk about whatever the weather or, you know, who knows what. And it just, like everybody in the family, you will not have one fight or outbreak. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> between. <sure> takes <laughs> <laughs> right. They should have about four ounces, not just a little shot. Oh, this is doing pretty well. Yeah, this is, okay. like how many this is a two-ounce cup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't sell the cup. <laughs> no, I give you my recipes. Yeah, right. <laughs> lemon coconut. And, I yeah, I love the lemon coconut, too. Mm. Very distinct, different flavors. And, um, oh, just your water ball. But what I would say is take this for family functions. Or take it to the office, you oh, know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It works really great, you know. No, it's not going to hurt the kava. I usually just warm it, and um, 
you will have between the diversionary stones and the kava you will have the best holiday you've ever had that's why i said cruising through the holiday and it's yes. like oh yes i want people to know what it's about but i don't want to give too much away so i won't give anything away i'll just have this <laughs> this title that hopefully will entice people to come you know <laughs> Because I always like to do fun surprises around the holidays. I love for people to sample stuff. To me, that's real exciting for people to try stuff. And anybody who comes to my office to work with me, they usually get to sample whatever product or whatever, you know. So I would go to the Kava Bar to get the Kava or go to Kona Kava Farms, which is in Maui, and order off their site. So we should go to the Kava Bar just to buy it to make our own? It's oh. not that they just... They sell it. So they they sell make it. it. They make it, too. And you can buy it. Oh, okay. You can sit there and have their but shoes. But they buy the powder. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more economical if you make it yourself. It is. But you can buy the powder. Yes, you can. Um, it is just the Fiji kava. What I can say is if you buy the paste, the paste from Kona Kava Farms comes in a half ounce or one ounce size, and you think that's not very much. Know that all you need on the paste is one eighth of a teaspoon. So one ounce is 48 doses. Okay, so, and that's an eighth per four ounces of liquid. Do you have to dilute it out that much? No, you can like dilute it to just a two ounce if you desire. Um, with the powder, and it's listed on there too, you would use anywhere from one teaspoon to three teaspoons. Like some people who are mega, mega, mega type A personality, you know, maybe even seriously OCD, light switch on, off, on, off, on, off. Maybe it's the three. <laughs> and they'll go, that's a beautiful light switch. I can move on from my light switch. <laughs> Did you say, I'm somehow almost zoned out. You said, Did you say something about four ounces again recently? That's how much I had, have. yes, yes. I mean, eighth of a teaspoon per shot, so that's per two per, yeah, you can dilute it to the amount that you want, whether it's two ounces or four ounces. But the directions say an eighth per four ounces of liquid. Oh, okay, that's fine. And that's the yeah. taste. Yeah. That's yeah. Just you want me to take those? Let's do that. Oh, there we go. Thanks. So any questions about kava? Are, are you guys going to have a fun holiday? Yeah. Huh? Oh, it was. That's why I brought yeah, two different like flavors. It. Yeah. Yeah. So if one if somebody wants the rest of this lemon coconut here, she just took a tiny sip. Here you go, dear. Thank you. Can she have a little more pumpkin? Sure, sure, absolutely. That's a hundred percent why I brought two flavors, and I can tell you that my husband likes the chocolate mint, and there was one. What was one you got one time? It's chocolate hazelnut. He really liked the chocolate hazelnut. Uh, that's the lemon. Will you take this over to that lady once I pour it? Okay, thank you so much. So the only place we can get it in town would be at one of these coffee There you bars. go. Thank you. Yes. Okay. If you go to the health food store, all you're going to... Yes, if you go to the health food store, all you're going to get is tea or capsules. That's it. Okay. And it's it's just not the same. What about here? Yeah. You know, I don't know. Okay, Jenny, sure. do you guys carry kava here? We do. Powder yeah. and chops. It, is the powder the instant where it's been juiced and no. uh, freeze-dried? It's just powder. Okay, okay. So there you have. So that would be more for tea form. So that wouldn't work for this. You can do it if you want. You, what I'd say is explore the different options. Okay. And I... Well, something for Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we see family this, you know, holiday. Then I would go to the herb bar, yeah. I, I mean the um, uh, kava bar, and get the instant kava, and that's one teaspoon per two to four ounces, however much you want to dilute it. What about putting it in um, coconut juice? And not any Give it, it 
give it a whirl, see if you like it. I promise you, you will taste the kava and not the coconut water. Yeah, That's why I, I add extra coconut. sweeteners. Because remember, if you're going to see other people, to them, this is gonna be like dirt that numbs your mouth. <laughs> it's like, oh thanks, happy holiday to you too. You bring me dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, dirt has minerals, you know, so, <laughs> so um, I always add a natural sweetener when I'm making kava shooters, always, 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 otherwise, you don't want somebody to go bleh, and spit it out. Xylitol for this doesn't work quite as well. You want to think about consistency, liquid consistency, soak dates, honey, agave nectar, um, maple syrup. Um, honey? Yeah, I use, there's raw, raw honey. In the lemon one, there's raw honey, raw agave, and two organic soaked dates. <laughs> in the pumpkin spice one, there's just additional agave because I didn't, the agave does not alter taste where some of the other sweeteners, they have a distinct taste. And so I look at what I'm mixing to see if I want the altered sweetener taste along with it or just sweet along with it. So what you could do, like the So Company, and I, I use them, I don't even buy the almond milk because I make my own almond milk because I activate and dehydrate my almonds and go from there. But um, I, I would think about getting their eggnog because it's made from coconut milk, throw it in a blender with the kava, whirl it up with a little bit of raw agave, add some extra nutmeg and cinnamon because that's exactly what's in the pumpkin spice. And I would do, you know, little two ounce cups of that for family. There is not. With raw agave nectar, it's not been okay. heated. It's low glycemic. Oh, it's right, not right. an issue. The lemon one has a higher sugar content than one with like the pumpkin spice or the eggnog. So I, I wouldn't worry about that at all. And I can promise you almost every person I know who's diabetic, they shove way too much sugar down their mouth at the holidays anyhow, or they think I'm gonna do, oh, sugar-free diet sugar, which is even more disastrous and contaminating to the body. And I'm like, if you're going to do sugar, do the healthiest, cleanest, rawest sugar, and just use a little bit, you know? and it makes a huge, huge difference. Like this morning, um, I whirled up some organic raspberries with some organic persimmons from a friend's tree and put that on some coconut yogurt, obviously non-dairy, just made from coconut, and poured that on that, and it was plenty sweet. There's no sweetener in, in the yogurt, and so there's a lot of things you don't have to sweeten, but with kava, you know, some people like just the real earthy dirt taste, but if you're taking it to family, they're not going to appreciate dirt. They'll appreciate, woo, the happy feeling, but they want it to taste good too. Never mind whatever else they put in their body. <laughs> Any other questions? I have so much fun helping people be happy through the holidays. Okay, well, good for you. So um, you can always experiment when you purchase your own and um, increase the dosage and just see. Yeah. Uh, does anybody have any last questions? And otherwise, we'll bring this to a close. I'm so thrilled. I realized I just bumped the mic. But I'm so thrilled that you all came out. Know that if you do these things, it really will make a, a big difference and make your holidays a, a lot happier, smoother. And it, holidays are interesting because everybody gets so excited about them and they want to see everybody and everything. And then it's like, Wah! you know, everybody gets sideways at some point and they're like, oh, forget. And this way, nobody will get sideways. They'll all be happy. And 
it's healthy and legal. So to me, that's good. And believe it or not, see, people who drink alcohol will drink less alcohol if they're drinking kava. More stupid mistakes are made on alcohol than kava. Oh, yes. on kava. I can see, yeah. <clears throat> so would you use the same kava to, like, sit for going to bed? Uh, there is a kava called uh, boro that relaxes the entire body and it it will relax every muscle. I'd say if you want to do a glass of that before bedtime along with deep sleep. Um, they should have deep sleep here because they carry the herbs etc product and it's the number one natural sleep aid in the country. You will go to sleep. You will not even get up to pee. How's that? I would love that. <laughs> You have the deep sleep, right? Woohoo! Yay! All right. If uh, you, for any reason, uh, want to leave your email address, um, my sister will take that from you. <laughs> I'll put her to work. <laughs> And um, you're still getting my newsletter, yeah. so I know your email's yeah. good. Good, good, good. And um, I've loved having you here. Um, I've got tons and tons of information on my website from videos, articles, newsletters. You can vouch for that. My yes, sister can vouch it. for that. So you can probably find information yeah, I on... I know, I know. I did that. Yeah, I, I decided to do it that way because the camera was more this way. So you were my adoptive baby sister for the moment. We all have to have those special moments. <laughs> so blessings to all of y'all. I'm going to... Um, have the mic turned off if you have any questions of me I'll be happy as we're packing up to answer anything but we'll go ahead and bring um, the talk to a close for the uh, official camera thank you thank you for being here Yay! I love making people happy